Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, this is going to be overall energy for the week of January 11th for YouTube. Um, I'm just, I have one more element to do. I have my fire elements to do on Patreon. Um, but I figured if I didn't take a break to do this, that you guys wouldn't get this done because I have to leave at 4.30. And I was like, I'm exhausted. So I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm just going to go to a quick little full new moon energy for you guys, which is tomorrow. Um, kind of tell you what you're looking at for the next, you know, few days or whatnot. And I'll be on tomorrow live with you guys. But I just, you know, just what I'm seeing, I'm just like, mm, maybe I should kind of go on for, for um, YouTube right now. And I'm going to do the same layout that I'm doing for Patreon this week. So... Um, let me get my cards together and I will start with, you know, this is a collective message just for the, the new moon in Capricorn. And if you guys want to join me on Patreon, um, link is below. That would be great. Every week you get, you know, all 12 Zodiacs and Wednesday you get your soul, soul's contract. Um, so what's that like 12, 24, like you end up being like 52, you end up getting like 52 videos. 52 videos a month um, for $9. Um, there was something else I wanted to share with you. Hmm. Drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. Strange. It's like at the tip of my tongue. So this is overall energy for every element, every zodiac. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, is, well, I can't really do individual zodiacs, clearly, because um, this is what I'm doing for Patreon, so sorry it threw me off. This is a collective read for the next few days, the new moon. Um, the new moon's most potent, you know, like now. And it, it, you know, we go 17 days until we get to a new full moon. But the energy of the new moon, it lingers. It's obviously not as powerful um, as a full moon. But there's definitely stuff going down. So I, I'd say maybe this has like a time frame of maybe like five days. Okay. So... For the collective heavy element for the new moon in Capricorn. So, ooh, fresh that. But there's a comic partner, so this could have a lot to do with a third party scenario because there's three people here, but somebody's turning their back to a situation. Um,. I'm not going to dig into this like this because what I'm doing, the the exact example that I'm doing on Patreon for you guys, okay? So what I'll do is clarify this and then go into a short story. It does look like some of you will have a fresh start. Some of you are still dealing with a karmic. You do have some pride and ego getting in the way, okay? And you do have the, the balancing of some type of scales here and then you have forgiveness. So this came in so strong. Um gosh what element was it I want to say air <clears throat> it was air for sure and every zodiac every king every queen all that was showing up okay um so I'm going to tell you the outcome of these five cards and then give you a short story okay so I'm going to keep it real simple what's the outcome to this fresh start with this new moon, the fool. So yes, some of you are most definitely having a fresh start. It could feel like a risk or this is a leap of faith, okay? I'll come to this karmic partner or a third party scenario. It's the six of pence. So there will be some type of balance here. One more, please. It's like the scales are getting balanced. Yeah, there's there's definitely some, you know, some heartache. Um, and it's you're no longer 
you're no longer investing in a situation. Like the again, it's like the balancing of the scales. Minor arcana, major arcana. So it's moving forward, being triumphant. Um, it it is bittersweet. Maybe hope somebody hopes that somebody's really gonna forgive them. Um, you also have some type of challenge going on with the pride and ego here, but no longer putting um, energy into a karmic situation or a third party situation. Someone's definitely gonna feel an ending type thing, and then you know there's there's definitely moving forward. So, what's the outcome to this ego? Or pride. Okay, it's like I gotta shut the door. Sorry. It's like um, it's it's a fresh start. I mean, you have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, with the Nine of Swords. I don't know if you're stressed out about a situation, having a really hard time sleeping. But this is a really nice shift of energy. This is, couldn't be creativity. So just don't let pride and ego, especially if it has to do with work. I don't really see work, but for whoever that message is for, don't let pride and ego get in the way or stubbornness. But this is the outcome. So it's it's going to shift. So if you're worrying now, I mean, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't really worry about it. What's the outcome to the balancing of the scales? Both of these, nine of cups, so happiness and two of cups. So you have, don't give up hope with the saw at the bottom of the deck. You have happiness coming, a wish fulfillment, um, just everyday happiness. You have something mutual with someone for whatever group of the collective this is for. This could be all one story or this could be five different scenarios. Some of you most definitely fresh start. Ending of a karmic, letting go. Pride and ego, letting, letting it go. Because it's getting in the way of passion, interference, it's getting in the way of practical things. Okay, it's, it's stressing somebody out. So I hope somebody works on this because that, that stress, that worry is still there. And it's kind of like no need, okay? Um, but this is happiness, contentment, fulfillment. This is some type of wish, some type of blessing. You do have a mutual feeling with somebody. You could start dating. Or this could be long-term. Whatever you do, just don't give up. It could be a blessing. These two together is a straight up blessing, okay? So what's the outcome to this forgiveness? So within this new moon period, this is probably all the energy that everybody's kind of feeling. Okay, so yeah, we do have a little ego here. Something is definitely over. Um, it could be the karmic situation. Somebody really wants somebody to forgive them for something they did, or you're waiting on somebody to apologize for you for something they did. It's however it works for you, but the cycle is over. There is going to be some type of victory. Somebody will forgive you, whether it takes time or not. This is a card of victory moving forward. So this cycle's over. So try not to worry or stress about that. Okay? New doors are opening. And it's going to be really, really positive. All right? So that is good. All right, so now I'm going to give you kind of like a little mini story. It's it's for the collective. If you're on Patreon, it would be your own Zodiac. I don't want to get rid of these yet because that's this has to do with all of this. All right. New moon energy. New moon energy. Collective read, please. King of Swords wanted to come out this in this deck. This is like somebody who's really thinking. This is somebody who's passionate. I know I say, like, go figure. You're talking about the King of Swords. But 
that's what it represents so this is for the collective new moon energy so this can be like the energy that's literally just lasting for the next five days that's more potent this could be like what you're feeling egos getting in the way um just other stuff but like it's it's gonna pan out um this could go for a few weeks okay but this right here is what i want to know for like the the energies you're really feeling like now so strength that that came out a lot with um the zodiacs okay so continue to have strength you got the prince of pence so you do have an energy here that is is kind of definitely holding back but this is also playful energy this is like okay i want new things Okay, but I, I just, I'm kind of looking at the depiction too, and it's like, okay, I'm on a ball, you know, but it's like not really moving, like, eh, you know, hesitating. But again, in this deck, because this represents, <clears throat> um, sorry, I don't know why uh, I just got choked up there. Um... I don't know why I'm losing what I'm saying. This prince, okay, what's happening here? This prince of wands is is more, this is the playful new things. So this energy of the prince of pence is turning into the prince of wands. So it's, it's being combined. This, this prince It's like studying something. There's some type of completion. And then you got the two of cups here again. So somebody's definitely going to go after something. And then you got the six of wands again. Looks like they're going to end up going after a relationship or something more committed. All zodiacs, please, all zodiacs. So right now, just, you know, stay focused. You got judgment. So, you know, this is understanding. This is forgiveness. It's, it's all coming in. This is just saying stay strong. Continue to push through. And then it's like this this energy of of passion and excitement and playfulness and new doors opening, which makes sense when I clarified all this. Okay. Um. But this is being read as forgiveness right now, so you is it, strong. Somebody definitely wants somebody to forgive them, or vice versa. Waiting on an apology. I mean, it's something. Regardless, is you're moving forward. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. One more for the collective, please. New Moon energy. So stay, you know, stay, stay strong. Um, there had to have been some type of shit sto show, some type of, because this is the calm after the storm. Like here comes the peace, right? So it's also letting go of control, fear. And you have the empress. So I don't know if you want the empress to forgive you. Or she's looking for an apology. I will tell you on Patreon, the ending and the forgiveness was with her. If it's going to reference that. And I think for some of you it is because this is YouTube and we've been talking about that off and on for a while now. So now I'm just going to get your outcome. For, for what this is. What's the outcome of strength? The next week, what's the outcome of strength?
justice. There's that balancing of the scales. Okay, especially if it was something karmic. Something's going to go in your favor. So try not to worry about something here. Or you could be dealing with a Libra, but this is this is justice. Okay, so it's just it's now actions of whatever circumstances were happening are now going to be balanced. And we had a lot of that up there. What's the outcome to this Prince of Pence? Someone could be studying something new or just kind of like trying to figure out how to go about something slowly. Four of Cups. So there might be an offer coming your way. There, I mean, there is an offer. Yeah, see, something slow. There had to have been some type of lesson here. Um, it's like out of the blue. Out of the blue. Looks like it's coming from somebody secure, solid, practical. Someone who makes practical decisions. Slow decisions because they're practical. Okay. Um, what was I just going to say? Um, I wanted one more outcome for this four of cups to see if you're going to take it or not got me stuck you're really in your head what is this ten of pence and the six of wands whatever this is 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 going to be really good it's going to be long term it's going to be a commitment it's going to be family life you could be doing a business starting something it's something's going in your favor again with the six of wands wow you guys have a it's good energy, but it's almost like I don't even know if you'd see this coming because you're still dealing with this energy. So I'll come for the Prince of Wands. So this is somebody seeing new things, looking at things, new ways, playful energy. Yeah, see, I knew it was linked to this. You got the Eight of Cups. So this this energy is taking action in going towards something more more content. There are, there is some confusion here. There is some type of interference, and it probably has to do with this energy right here. It's an apology. You're waiting on it. However, it's going to go down for you. Okay. Um, you could be indulging too much, but be careful. I think this is more, and you have two eights, right? I think this is more. Um, Like, this would be the end of the interference. You're walking away from it. So that's a good thing. And I think it's because your your energy is more playful. You know, it's like being ready for an adventure, trying new things. So you are walking away from something to have that. What's the outcome of judgment? Oh, sorry. This, this would be forgiveness right now. The outcome. So to me, for some of you, this is definitely... Um, a no-go. Yeah, look at that. Ten of swords. So if somebody wanted somebody back in somebody's life or, or wanted a second chance or, you know, just thought whatever it is, it's, it's, it's no. It's like time to move forward. Like, I hope you accept my apology. I'm moving forward. Or I hope you can accept my apology. Let's work on this now. But this is an outcome. So this is an ending. So it's probably something to a karmic situation. So this is good because this is new moon energy. Wanting new things, new, new, right? So I'll come to this empress. failure okay so this it's just it's not going to work she feels like she failed or he feels like she failed her regardless it's it's something that's over others of you no 
know, this isn't like don't don't give up energy. It's, it's not like that. This was definitely something that was toxic because you have the emperor right there too with the seven of cups. I mean, six of cups. So this would be somebody, you know, it's in your life you have kids with or um, somebody from your past. And now there's something new with the emperor and the empress and the moon. It's like you don't see it, but like it's something that's toxic. So, and it's, it's just, it's over. So I don't know why one or one out of two of these energies feel like they failed. Like, it's like seven of pence. Like, I'm not putting energy into this anymore. Like, I'm not investing time into this anymore. Like, no, not gonna, it's just not a thing. Um, so that's good, because even if it's karmic, you're, and you're not going towards anybody, it's, it's still good that a karmic situation is over. Like, the scales are gonna balance for you too, okay? So... It's a, it's a completion. All right. Having a new start. Seeing something differently with the tower. Others of you, if this is not a third party scenario and it's just the two of you. You feel like you failed at keeping something together. But the outcome is still like an awakening and moving forward. Okay. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hang in there. The energy is all over the place. You know, first card out is strength. You are dealing with, you know, some emotions. Or all I see is the moon, right? But like, um, it's just, it seems like a little heavy. But it just, whatever this is, is... um has a good outcome. Regardless of your situation, you're having a fresh start. It's just a matter of what direction you choose. Okay, some of you it's endings and others of you it's, it's new beginnings or it's just, it's all combined some way, somehow. Like if this was an empress, they feel like they failed at keeping the relationship together, the household. They went in a new direction. You know what I mean? Regardless, it's it's over. Um, I would hope somebody forgives or, you know, accepts someone's forgiveness. However that rolls for you. But the balancing of the scales is here. It's time to have a fresh new start. You do have a lot of ego getting in the way or a pride. But um, that will subside too. It's a good read. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Love you guys. Bye.